Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner's Life in the Philippines. They're out there having a ball getting something. Man, nice plate's gonna be full tonight. And tomorrow, and tomorrow night. They've got a lot of these. They look like torpedoes to me, but so far uh, I can't get my tongue wrapped around that word and keep it. I better take a peek back here. Got our stuff, all the gear sitting there. As far as I know, there's no one around, but you never know. You know how they can come out of the woodwork. For a long time, there's nobody around, and all of a sudden... Are those... Baby ones, the tiny ones, yeah. they'll grow up. Yeah. They'll get bigger. Bigger. Bigger, yeah. Amazing. Sometimes just walking past here, it looks like there's a great big old fish sitting down there staring at you. Kind of reminds me of the time I was bass fishing. I'd sit there on the bank and I'd throw these lures out there. Many colors, many types, but mostly uh, the rooster tails are the ones I had luck with. But I'd see these bass swim past and they never bite. So I got a feeling, I just had a haunch that they could see up there and see me sitting on the bank and they knew exactly what was going on so i uh, oh you're beautiful ready for church aren't you i see nothing that water can't take care of it but anyhow i sat behind the bushes about 10 yards from where uh, we had cleared and I saw them coming. So I threw out the lure, reeled it in real slow like, kind of bobbed it up and down a little bit. Well, bob, I mean, it was in the water. It didn't have a bobber on it, but just played with it a little bit. Sure enough, the biggest one grabbed it. But if you moved out, in the area where they could see you, they would not bite it. Not for the love of nothing, I'll tell you what. And little boogers are smarter than what you give them credit for. They learn to survive and everything around them. They get to know it well. But anyway, it looks like they might be heading towards the truck. Tell you what, my foot's just about roasted. <sighs> one more step, one more step, one more step, one more step. I got a stick shift. And I hope I can push the clutch. I can always put my shoes back on. That'll help some. But I'll tell you what. You do not have enough space to stay in control with big shoes on. When you're driving that truck. 
But anyway, I said about that. Oh, here they are, just having a ball again. They just don't stop. That's exciting to see them have fun. Get out of the house, out of the usual routine, and come out here and enjoy nature. Water is always relaxing anyway. Well, how many kilos you got by now? Well, in America, we would say how many pounds, but... He fed the fish. There's a lot of fish food out there. And you hear these things jumping and jumping for joy because they're eating. <laughs> well, anyway, it sounded good. Thanks for watching in, everybody. Here's a good look at what they got so far. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, come back here, little guy, so I can get you all three in the picture. There we go. <laughs>